Kenta, the bad boy, wearing the black gloves. That's New Cal wearing the white. And the big difference you see is that the southpaw of uh, Pepetamaro, and his favorite weapon you're going to see is that left kick. So he's going to counter a lot with that power left kick. Renita has the same body style, the same stance as Ruben Van Roosman. Looks like a compact killer in there. Yeah, that's that Dutch style kickboxing where they like to really put combinations with their hands and finish with low kicks. But you can see Renita really respecting the left kick of Pepanamarung. So he really needs to absorb those kicks and, and keep coming forward. He can't be a nice starting target. Nice body kick there, which backed Renita back up. Uh, Renita needs to make sure he gets inside and lets his hand go. He can't just sit there and keep eating those left kicks. How hard have you seen the transition to be for most Muay Thai fighters when they come to glory? Well, they seem to be doing really well. You have Sidichai, the, the current lightweight champion. We had a successful debut of Tong Chai in his last show, knocking out Casey Green. So they seem to have good transitions into the ring, and they have a lot of experience. Kiat Mukau ranked in the top 10 in two different weight classes over in Thailand, which is basically unheard of. Yeah, he's uh, ranked in two divisions in Lumpini, which is a big, you know, prestigious title to have. What he does well, uh, Petanamurung, is he determines the pace of the fight, and it's those power kicks that really slows Renita down. When you can hear that shot, you can see the redness right on the liver and rib cage area of the Moldovan. Yeah, what you see Pepanamarung doing, he keeps stepping outside the lead foot of Renita. So he keeps stepping outside that lead foot and throwing that kick. It's basically a big puncher versus a big kicker. Yeah, Mukau, the kicker, obviously. You can see the damage being done so far. It's kicks that are winning the round. Yeah, Renita needs to get inside. He can't just throw ones and twos. He needs to put multiple combinations together to try to get on the inside. And it appears Renita is willing to take the shot to the rib cage in order to land a punch. The only problem is Joe, he's eating the kick, but not landing the punch. Yeah, because you see Pepe Maroon moving back. He establishes distance well, and that's what Thai fighters do. Really well. One, two, two. But Pat Murray needs to be careful. You're not allowed to sweep the leg. You're allowed to kick it out, but in the glory rules, you have to kick it, not sweep it out. It's that kick that keeps doing damage. Renita can't sit there and wait. He needs to keep coming forward. It'll be interesting to see the fight metric statistics because I'm not sure Renita landed more than one or two punches in round number one. According to the fight metrics, we have total strikes landed for Renita, four of 19. And, and again, he's really trying to get inside with that boxing, but he needs to throw multiple combinations. He can't just throw one combination and stop. Glory Super Fight Series is headed back to the United States in 2017, and what a main event we have. Roman Van Roosmalen, we just talked about him. He's the new featherweight world champion. He'll be putting his title on the line for the first time against Matt Embry. How excited are for you? Are you for this fight in LA? Man, seeing how scary Robin Van Roosmalen looked against Varga the other day, I'm pumped to see this fight. Varga had a very successful, you know, debut with two knockouts, so it's a perfect matchup. And Embry shows corner. no fear, Back in the corner. which may be his undoing against Robin Van Roosmalen. You've got to be a little afraid of his power, or he'll put you on your backside. He did that to Gabriel Varga. No one had knocked Varga out before. Let's see what adjustments Renita has made. As I'm sure his corner was telling him to be a little bit more active, just like that. Oh. And the echo of those kicks throughout the arena here in Nice is incredible. You can see the damage on his body, Renita. Once he gets inside, Joe, he can't get pushed back away. No, he, if he's going to take a shot like that, you have to stay in just like he's doing there. Don't stop. Put another two or three combinations together. And there are the punches finally landing there for Renita. The Panamurung's so relaxed, and that's what he's, the ties are good at. They, this is just another day for them. They've been in the ring so many times. It's just another day for them. If you're just tuning in, Kiat Mukau has nearly 200 professional fights. He's only 21 years old. 
By the time he's 40, he may have fought a thousand times. And an uppercut lands, and now Jet Mukau willing to exchange punches instead of kicks exclusively. We'd like to see what kind of boxing skills Pepanamarat has. He hasn't had to showcase it, but it'd be nice to see him put some hand combinations together. A rip cage shot, a left hook to the body, finally connects there for Renita. Renita telling us he has no hobbies. All he does is train, eat, and sleep. So a huge moment for him in his life. He'll head home and do the same thing tomorrow. Well, he's a motivated fighter. He wants to be the, you know, the best in the world and takes full dedication. And you can see the, the blood and the bruising welling up under the skin now of Renita. The right side of his body is almost completely red. Mukau, who seems to relish the fact that this is becoming a bit of a fight now. Yeah, Renita's starting to do a better job coming in on the inside, but and now Renita is kicked. I'm not or cut rather. I'm not sure if it came from the kick or not, but blood pouring down the side of his face. Yeah, Pepanamaran took that kick high. So what happens? The Thai fighters will constantly chop your arm, chop your arm, and then they change levels with it. They'll attack the leg or or go for the head kick. Perhaps the taste of his own blood will get Renita motivated even more than those kicks to the liver that continue to land. And a knee that time. Those kicks are very dangerous on the outside. A little flurry there as we wind down the seconds here of round number two. Another great round for the tie fighter. Let's look at some highlights from round two, and I have a feeling they're going to be all one way. Well, it's all that left kick, and you know, there's not much more that Panamaran has to do. And you see the damage that those left kicks are doing, and it's just starting to build up and keep building up. And you know, Renita didn't have too many shots, but when he did get on the inside, he did land a few uppercuts, and maybe that's the shot on the inside he's looking for, but that's a cut in a pretty good place. Won't affect the vision of Renita. But you gotta expect the Panamaro to start mixing levels with that kick, so he needs to keep that defense very high. It seems like the strategy now, or the only strategy that would work for Renita, is that Lucal gets lulled into doing uh, a big exchange of punches on the inside to try and prove something. The corner. That's the only time Renita has Last done round. anything positive. Yeah, and that only happened twice in that second round. But the Panamarong, his distance control, his power kicks, is really slowing down those combinations of Renita. One time UFC fighter Nate Diaz told me the only time he thought he'd win a, won a fight is at the end if you looked at the opponent and he looked worse than he did. And right now there's no doubt who's winning this fight based on body damage. Yeah, that's the second scoring criteria. There hasn't been any knockdowns, but definitely the damage is in favor of Pep Panama. May have had a, a low blow there landed by Kit Mukau. Look at the total kicks, Joe. Oh, it's non-stop kicking. He's landed 47 of them. 57, and it's good that a lot of those kicks are going off the forearm, and they're counting those as strikes landed because they're doing damage. Yes, many will say that those are being blocked, but those kicks are doing damage, and this was a, a similar debate we had when Robin Van Roosmalen fought Sidichai. Well, the body damage does not lie. The punches, or the kicks rather, are landing at will. The flesh has changed tone on Renita's body. There he's sweeping again. He needs to be careful, but again, strikes landed. You can see 49 kicks landed so far. And I'm surprised uh, Kiat Mokau's not mixing up the levels a little bit more, but he's doing a lot of damage on that forearm. It's all to the right side of Renita's body. The left side looks unscathed. It's almost like Two-Face from the Batman movie. One side of the body is a completely different human being. It's just so beautiful to see that one weapon can shut down someone's game plan. Another kick connects. 
what a surprise there, but shh, give Granita credit. He's willing to take that if he's just on the off chance he could connect with a left hook and drop Kiat Mukha. It just shows how tough and durable he is. He keeps walking forward. And you can't give him space. You can't give Kiat Mukha any space. Good movement by Kiat Mukha getting away from that straightforward movement of Granita. Renita simply could not figure this guy out. No, one weapon. That's all Kamuka needed was just one kick to shut down the full output and the whole game plan of Renita. You know, it sounds easy to say, you know, eat a few shots and keep coming forward, but with power kicks like that, it's you know, very difficult to want to keep coming inside and eating those kicks. He was a one-trick pony, Joe. But that's all he had to be, a dominating debut for Jeff Mukow. The official decision when Glory Super Fight Series returns from the French Riviera. Come on now, look back at what we just saw in this fight. Thailand versus Moldova, not much of a fight at all. Yeah, it was a very simple strategy for Kiat Mukau, and it was all that left kick, and Renita couldn't get inside and get his hands landing, and Kiat Mukau consistently kept his distance, kept throwing that kick, and that's what did the damage. And I'd like to see some more exchanges from Kiat Mukau. Let's see how his boxing has evolved. As this was his first kickboxing fight. So he's got some time. His camp has a lot of uh, kickboxers at the gym, so he's been training with everyone there. And his gym has a reputation for hard training. And let's see what he has to bring in the future. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see them about the same and score this bout 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner, Pepanabrum Kiatmukal!